before you uh, you moved to Europe when you were in Asia, you were in more in the of the brick and mortar type of type of businesses, right? And now you're online. So has that impacted how you celebrate your birthdays or how you do your life at all or anything? Um, well, I mean, everything changes when you go online from brick and mortar, you know? How so? But, well, oh, man. Well, with birthdays, I mean, I mean, birthdays with brick and mortar in the birthdays, since we were in hospitality, you'd go there and everyone would know it's your birthday and people would sing happy birthday to you and, and all these things. And it was nice, right? You have like the, 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 the team would be there in real life singing happy birthday and giving you a cake and like saying, Oh, we appreciate your leadership. Thank you. Whatever. And online we have the same vibe, like on zoom, you know, people are saying happy birthday. They're sending love videos and they're sending good vibes. Um, it's a little different, I think, uh, virtually, you know, than in person, in person, you're actually with the people, live. So I would say that's even more potent in the brick and mortar space, right? Because you walk into the building and the whole building is vibing knowing it's your birthday. They have balloons in your office. They have a cake waiting for you. Your team comes and sings at your door of your office, for example, you know, little things here and there. Um, and then in the online space, that's one of the things that happens online is I was just actually talking to uh, someone on our team the other day about this. It's interesting because like the company is big, there's how many people, 50, 60 people in the company, right? right? And it, but when you're sitting at home, like if you're, if you're looking to build an online business, you're at home alone, full stop, right? You're at home and you're alone. And so it's interesting because there's a massive company, or if you're doing, uh, you know, Amazon business, you have all of the Amazon things happening out there um, on your behalf. And there's so many moving parts, but you're still just alone. And so when I look at brick and mortar versus virtual, there's so many pros and cons to both. I don't think one is better than the other. Both are definitely necessary. Everything we're using here came from a brick and mortar business, right? I just went out for lunch. You're going for dinner. You just drove your car. You went to a barber. Like we absolutely need them and love brick and mortar. But I think the misconception is, and I had this too, was when you're online, in some way it'll be easier like I thought that when I was on that island talking to you the very first time, sipping a margarita or whatever, and I was drunk and I was like, I'm going to go on the internet, bro. You know, in my mind, I was like, oh, it's going to be easy on the internet. And I get on the internet and I'm like, it's not easy. If anything, I would say it's, it's, it's an easier way to leverage softwares and networks and systems, but it's, you have to go like two, five, 10 X inward on the inner game to be able to actually push through the hard times because at the end of the day, it's you and your computer and a million distractions around your home mm. versus an office or a building where you have people that are working in the same direction and you can't really get distracted and you're just there to do your job, punch in, punch out, get it done sort of thing. They're massively different. It's definitely not for everyone. And I would say in the context of birthdays, it's it's different and both are amazing it just depends on where you're at and where you want to be and sort of the person you're becoming right and for me i'm finding myself and this is coming from an extreme extrovert type of a person right like my entire 30s were partying it's ridiculous to say it but it's fucking true the entire decade was devoted to partying and <laughs> <laughs> yeah like hosting them and throwing them and being like the organizer and like, you know, the GM of the party. It's like, Hey, throw this festival for 20,000 people. Okay. You know, like doing that shit back to back to back. Yeah. That's a very extrovert energy. Like you're all, at least you were, life. at least you were making money doing it. You know, I'm yeah, like, no, that's I'm right. Like a bunch I mean, of other people <laughs> drinking for free and getting paid. Perfect. Uh, not <laughs> a very sustainable model <laughs> yeah. for the personal health. But what I'm getting at is like, that's an extroverted human doing an extrovert type of a thing. But for me, when I went online and I started getting deep into personal development and deep into the mindset of what it takes to be the version of me who I want to become more of in the future and more aligned with my values and the, the type of father you want to be and leader for your family. When you start going down that rabbit hole, the online space for me is golden and I'm becoming more and more introverted with it. 
because I find myself just spending way more time learning, reading books, journaling, being with myself and my thoughts, and then growing and developing into the person that I want to become versus being busy, extroverting and out in the noise. 